Ready, queen. Ready, queen. I don't want to. I don't want to be like queen. I don't want to be no this. I don't want to be no that. I just want to make music and make money. Like I, I really don't have time to look at other women, what they doing. I'm, I'm myself. You know what I'm saying? Nobody got a problem with me. I don't got a problem with them. Somebody got a problem with me. I don't really gotta do that whole industry beef. Like you know, like I get it popping with, with these hands, I, with the Mac trucks. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, August with the Shade. Make sure that you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that join button down below so that you don't miss all the tea and the shade with August and Rello. Okay? Period. All right, now listen. I'm going to just do a video real quick about female rap beef. Now, since the beginning of hip-hop, female rappers have been going at it. Not just female rappers, but male rappers as well. They always had this braggadocious tone about who was better, who rapped better, who dressed better, who had bigger jewels. I mean, it's always been a competitive sport. So now that female rappers and male rappers, well, I'm not going to say male rappers, but female rappers are now, you know, I guess coming together. They have a camaraderie. They're all one. But that is how we lost our female rappers in, two, in the 2000s. When everybody was cool and everybody was just making music and having fun. Like this is a damn circus. I mean, female rap went a dry. I mean, Nicki Minaj had to come back and revive female rap because nobody was out here doing anything. Because these girls are friends and because these girls are trying to make a little penny off of a dollar they are not wanting to go at each other they'd rather be cool but i'm letting you know something you guys can be cool behind the scenes but in the entertainment business you guys should be competing we are not mad at lisa leslie for dunking on these girls on, on the court we're not mad at other female um art actresses or anybody else that beat out other people for a role it is called a competitive game Okay, and for example, let's just say um, in 2020, right? Megan and Cardi were two of the biggest female rappers at the time, right? We're not going to include Doja Cat because Doja Cat is a pop star. But Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B were two of the biggest um, female rappers at the time. Number two and number three, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying because, you know, Nicki is number one. I'm just saying that. Just go ahead and put that out there. But by them fighting for that number two spot, they were supposed to... I, I feel like go at each other because Megan Thee Stallion was throwing shots allegedly at Cardi B back in 2019 and Cardi B was throwing shots at Megan allegedly in 2019 and 20 as well. So I want you guys to understand something. These two girls really don't like each other, okay? They should be going at each other. They should be making songs that is going against each other and it can be cool behind the scenes. But Cardi B has made female rap a more aggressive type thing, right? Because she threw a shoe at Nicki Minaj because she didn't like her dissing her in the song when she wasn't even talking about her. You know what I'm saying? So Cardi B has softened the game down. She's made everybody feel like, oh, we got to be friends and oh, we got to do this. No, you both should be getting in the booth, rapping, writing songs and getting out there being a braggadocious female that we all love you guys to be. You know what I'm saying? We love alpha females. I don't like no soft female. I don't like no female that feel like she can't say nothing to the next girl because she feel like she dissed her. I don't like that. You don't have to always be fighting just to, in, the, in the music industry. It ain't even about fighting. It's about writing raps and um, delivering. You know what I'm saying? But in this day and age, we only have Nicki Minaj, Kendrick Lamar and Drake to, you know, withhold you know that braggadocious competitive sport type thing and j cole a lot of other people i'm not even gonna lie it's a lot of people that still look at rap the way that it's supposed to be looked at you know what i'm saying stop trying to be friends with everybody in the industry get out there and make your money because we all know that you guys are not making money from your streams you're making money from endorsements and everything else so why not go and go the extra mile you know what i'm saying i love female rap beef i love male rap beef i don't like them to be beef in real life but i love the competitive thing you know i love the competitive nature of hip-hop so by these girls not being able to do that i feel like there's going to be another female rap drought and Nicki minaj will not be able to save it okay she will be raising her son and you guys have to look for the next female rapper to try it okay so if you guys think that what i'm saying is trash that's fine you can go ahead and tell me in the comments if you feel like female rap beef actually makes female rap a little bit more interesting if y'all feel like that then go ahead and put it in the comments so i can go ahead and respond to them you know what i'm saying make sure y'all like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel i love y'all i'm out Competition now it seems like it's way more competitive. You know, you have people out there. <laughs> Is it a, would you say is Queen a statement of, in your mind, like defend, defending your position? I think competition. I think I think people look at people use that word competition loosely. Okay. So, oh. This universe. This <laughs> 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 you.